water heater. Water heater. There's. I don't know what's wrong with it. The guys have been complaining that the water. When we redid the water heater and put that smaller one in, the water never ever did get hot. Um, and now it doesn't even get warm. It's just kind of loop, lukewarm, kind of cool. I had Jerry come and look at it. He thought the pump went out and circulating in the tank or something like that. But he looked at it and he, he can't figure it out. The only other thing we can do is what we thought is um, John Chris said he would donate a water heater. But it's electric, not gas like what we have. We thought we could put that in the men's locker room. And then the men would have hot water. And then we would have to purchase another water heater and put it like in that downstairs women's bathroom that would do the bathroom, the bathrooms up here in the kitchen, and possibly that downstairs janitor's closet. And then the water heater that we have would do the laundry. And the only place we would be without hot water is that other men's bathroom in the basement. But you're looking at probably $2,000 to do all that. Well, okay. I got a problem with, okay, we put in a water heater and now we can't figure out why it's not hot. The, the water, well, there's the problem is there's this great big huge tank down there for when there was boilers and so the water goes through the water heater into this big tank and circulates or something, the way I understand it. Okay, I got a suggestion, it. why don't we bypass the tank? Yeah. Well, talk to the plumber then. I okay, I will. Yeah, because the water coming out of the water heater is hot. It's, it's getting lost in that tank or something. Yeah, something. Okay, well, I don't know. I don't. I don't know why you won't do that. Here we go from point A to point B, and we don't go through that. Yet. Well, I know, but I like I said, I called the plumber, and that's what they told me. It's like, yeah. all right. I've got a plumber that that's Yule, Jerry Yule, fix it. You can plumb it for nothing. You have a plumber that'll do that? Wow. Even so. Oh. Well, does you want to come look at it? Well, he won't know. I mean, have Jerry. I think yeah, I'll I'll I pass and Bob can do it. I'm sure he can. So I'll volunteer him. He'll have something to do. I don't know. Jerry's talked about bypassing that tank before. Why he won't do it, I don't know. Why didn't he do it to begin with? I don't know. I mean, the, the old, we obviously we had hot water prior to that other tank right. going out, right? He sold us the new tank? The new tank smaller. Uh, okay, we fine. Got yeah, the bigger one was so big we had to have a boiler inspector come every year. And so we went with a smaller one to bypass the boiler inspector. And well, I don't know, I'm old fashioned, but if I buy a water heater, I would hope that my water is hot. Yeah. But it hasn't been hot since yeah, exactly. put in so, water. Mm -hmm. um, right. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure this one out too. Okay. Thank you. Okay, anything else in your building? Rentals? Rental. I talked to that Pastor Angie. She's going to come on Wednesday night, beginning September 9th. She'll be here from 6 to 7 on Wednesday night. She's going to do an open house on Saturday, September 5th from 2 to 5. And then Lynn will be here starting in September also. Um, the Just for Kicks dance will be here Sundays from 4 to 9 and Mondays from 4 to 8 30. And how much are they paying? That Pastor Angie's paying $100 a month, and I think Lynn pays, is it $150? I can't remember. So during the summer months, she's still going to have, assuming that she continues, is this a month to month thing? The Pastor, Pastor Angie thing? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah so. she'll be here in the summer. Lynn's just here. Lynn does $150 because it's every other Sunday. Okay. It's not every Sunday. No, it's every other Sunday. Because I was going to say, really, that's yeah, like eight yeah. hours. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. That's double the time, but not, yeah, but that's, yeah, it's every other Sunday. And that's what she did last year, too. Okay. The name change thing, we talked about that. He's got a sheet that you and I need to sign, but it has to be notarized. No, I'll we'll sign it. You have to sign in front of the notary. Yes. The oh. president and the secretary has to sign it. As soon as I get those signatures, take it back to Colin, he sends it to the Secretary of State, there's a minimal fee, it's on his account, he'll tell us what the fee is, we'll pay the fee, and then it's registered with the Secretary of State, and at that point, we now become the SAC Community Center. Um, okay, I can come. Is there any place we can go to tomorrow morning or early? You wouldn't have to do it together. I mean, one of you could take it. And just have, have to have two people notarized. You might have Otherwise, I can't go tomorrow morning. Where can we go in town that was a no-call? 
any of the law. Any of the banks. How early can you be there? You know, I have to be at the insurance office at 9 o'clock. So let me just bring all my stuff here. She's an owner. Sure. We should just come up and get it done. Well, that would be nice. That'd be wonderful. Jan Poland. Jan. Jan Poland? Not Jan. Oh, not Jan, no. Jan, yeah. There you go. But Jan Poland is already too. Close enough. <laughs> She's assistant to Karen at the treasurer's office. Well, that's good. I got four sisters, Jan and Karen and there's one that used to work down at the elevator that lives in early. Oh, you're talking about the other ones, Jim and Karen. Hold on. Yeah, I don't. I remember my father telling me, I think Christensen was the name from Blue, but there were four sisters. I could be. No. I thought those were two. No, right? No. No, no. No, no. Say it, man. Do you contact some of those uh, people, too, like this two. month? Or September, who all wanted to do basketball camps, wrestling camps, and just say, hey, the rec center, you know, now's the time if you're going to plan a camp for this winter. I did talk to um, Chris um, Bass at the park, and he liked to do a basketball tournament again this winter. So we'll do that again. I want to know if you're interested in that. So that would be like January, February. I wasn't like Sammy Bruce's husband interested in wrestling, but did that fall through? That fell through. I got a hold of Sammy last year, and she said it was too much work and not worth it. And she would, because she was supposed to do that. And um, Stacy Ernst and her husband were supposed to do basketball, and neither one did anything. I, I got a hold of Sammy and said Chris did the basketball, but but she just said no, I couldn't do it. She didn't think it was too good. I she, didn't try think to, what? she didn't think it was feasible to be able to do it here. A wrestling, a wrestling tournament. But we can make just some kind of camp thing. I will get a hold of Gary Wilson. Oh, yeah.